comes in third and under pressure from the Honda Integra DC5 of Russell Hurd. The front four just breaking away for the fifth place car, which is Richard Field. And in sixth place, that looks as though it's Tom Mensley's Renault Clio that can reach the top six of the great car, which is doing its way through Murray's now and ready to complete the first lap of the race. Billy Hardy's looking for the lead of the race here, trying to outgun the Peugeot in a straight line. Colin Simpson just has the power and the advantage, so he hangs on to the lead of the race. Billy Hardy's going to try and break as late as he can. He's on the left-hand side of the circuit, but he's not quite going to be able to sweep his way around the outside of Richie's corner. So the order still remains the same as they come out of the corner. Now Billy Hardy's got to watch his mirrors because Nigel Tong is nipping at the heels. What was four for the lead is now really just three because looks as though we have been able to drop it's Nigel Tong isn't it that's dropped to fourth yeah Russell Hurd's the man on the move Nigel Tong has dropped down into fourth place Billy Hardy's managed to take the lead by the look of things coming out of Wilson and on the run towards Williams it's the course that's gone through to take the lead of the race but in a straight line Colin Simpson has more power and Billy Hardy's dropped from the lead down to second and might actually drop down to third as they head in towards Brundle and Nelson because Russell Hurd at the wheel of the Honda Integra, once the VTEC gets going, was looking as though he'd got the momentum. Could he be brave enough on the brakes, though, in towards Brundle and Nelson is the question. No, he couldn't. No, he still sits there in third place. So Peugeot from Vauxhall, from Honda, and it still looks as though in fourth place it is Nigel Tong who has lost touch with the leading batch. And Billy Hardy's gone back through, through the bomb hole. Very brave move. Billy Hardy goes back through to take up the lead of the race. So they swapped and they swapped back. Now, Billy Hardy will run out and puff a little bit as they come up to the centre straight. That hasn't done enough to try and hang on to the lead when they get towards Richie's corner. Colin Simpson is coming. The Peugeot picks up the toe off the Vauxhall course. So Billy Hardy, not a lot he can do about it, other than maybe try and just block off Colin Simpson. The two of them side by side. Colin Simpson daps on the brakes a little bit earlier, so it will still be Billy Hardy that leads as they head towards Richie. So Billy Hardy leads. Colin Simpson second. Russell Hurt there in third place. And Nigel Tong, rather frustratingly, from the pole position is heading into the pit lane and the bonnet by the look of things is coming off on the Peugeot. Nigel has had a rather recalcitrant Peugeot over the years where he has had lots and lots of pace but never quite had the success and I think Matt Suckling is making his way down. Bring us the news Matt as and when you get there as to what the problem is for the pole sitter whilst the race continues. Leading three heading down the Bentley straight. Uh, Billy Hardy leading from Colin Simpson from then Russell Hurd at the wheel of the Honda Integra DC5 who's there in the third position and as they disappear out of my view through Brundle and Nelson as we say the cameras the new system has been put in down there but the hardware isn't in the commentary box just as yet so we don't have any pictures at all down in the bottom section of the circuit we have to wait until they reappear at Bombhole and the order of the top three remains the same but Billy Hardy now for the first time in the lead of the race is getting away a shade from Colin Simpson who's rolling his sleeves up and slugging it out for second and third with Russell Hurd who closes on the brakes coming in towards Murray's corner. We've got Tom Mensley now up into fourth place. Richard Field in the post on Croton Persona is there in sixth place. And seventh, that I think is Tom Griffiths, is it? Colour 777 is there in seventh place. As Russell Hurd is looking to try and take second place away, draws himself alongside Colin Simpson on the run up towards Richie's corner, the tail end of the Honda Integra just whacking around on the very edge of adhesion. But he's through, he's up the inside, and he's up to second place now. So Colin Simpson's down to third, and starting to be asked a few questions of Tom Mensley whilst still in the pit lane, still being worked on. Here's Nigel Tong's car. Tell us more. Yeah, there's lots of rushing about going on, as you can imagine, Mark. So they're, they're looking at the plugs. That's where the main issue seems to be. So they're going to change some plugs here and hopefully uh, rectify a problem. I think it's a, a power issue that the throttle they were trying to uh, work on, but the, the plug is going to be the thing they're going to try and do. John Hammersley's made his way down. Um, once it's all happened, they will find out the, the proper details on it. Thanks a lot. Yeah, keep us posted, Matt, as uh, we look down through the order. So it's... it's Bill Hardy that leads, Russell Hurd in second place, Colin Simpson there in third, Tom Mensley in fourth, Richard Fields in fifth place. It is indeed going to be the orange Honda Integra, Tom Griffiths who's there in sixth place, William Lynch in seventh, eighth place is car number 66 and that is David Ellisley for this first part of the race. Manju Patel is there in ninth place, completing the top ten is car number 26, Chris Earl at the wheel of another one of the Honda Civics. So the top four starting to get together again here, Billy Hardy looked as though it's getting away, but all of a sudden it looks as though he's being caught by Russell Hurd behind, and equally as much Tom Mensley is looking to try and attack Colin Simpson for what is third position. So the order's still the same at the end of the lap as it was when they exited Richie's at the start of the lap. So the top four have got the centre straight to themselves, and Tom Mensley breaks as late as he can, has a very late move up the inside of Colin Simpson, but the door was closing. 
go no further and he hangs onto the place. Russell Hurd is the fastest man out there currently. They've just completed four laps and the car in second position, the Honda, has just posted the best lap of the race we've seen so far. One minute 25.327 from him. Out of Williams, onto the Bentley straight they'll go. The blue Peugeot of Colin Simpson having to watch his mirrors against Tom, Men Tom Mensley's Renault Clio looking to try and draw himself alongside. But in a straight line, the Peugeot has the upper hand over the Clio. What news from the pits, Matt? Yeah, as you just see, Nigel Tom now back on his way. Just had a quick chat with Johnny. He said it looks like it was a plug issue. It seems it's been overfueling, which has meant the, uh, the plug was oiled. So they've changed that and it should be now back onto uh, full strength. All right, so all the harm done in the early stages of the race. Nigel Tong is showing as being down in 28th and last position. And of course, is no longer on the lead lap as well. 33 minutes of the race to go, which means it's 10 minutes, which means it's three minutes before the pit window opens, because it opens 10 minutes into the race. And there will be traffic before too much longer. So we'll have to be dealt with. That's the 39-year-old ops director from Newcastle, Alan Walker, that is about to get called before too much longer from the race leaders. Two really for the lead now, because Billy Hardy and Russell Hurd are fighting out for the lead of the race. And again, it's another new fastest lap of the race from Russell Hurd. One minute, 24.979. That was about 0.9 of a second quicker than the race leader that time through. So Russell Hurd is now starting to mount a challenge for the lead. A challenge that is not going to see him go through to take the lead of the race, at least this time, at Wilson Corner. They then flick left through Williams in a straight line though has the VTEC engine Honda got the upper hand over the Vauxhall we're about to find out as they tread their way down the Bentley straight now in a straight line they are pretty evenly matched for pace the Honda towards the end of the Bentley straight just starts to catch up it's too far back through Brundle and Nelson to do a great deal and the problems that were thought to be sorted for Nigel Tong would appear not to be because as we just heard from Matt something down in the pit lane the car the Peugeot left the pit lane He's gone round, he's done a lap, and he's back in again by the look of things, and this time he's driven the car straight into the garage. So the race leaders turning their way through Corum. Still Vauxhall Corsa leads Honda Integra, first and second. Up to third now is Tom Mensley, so he has been able to squeeze his way through. The man who was hugely successful in the CSCC Tip Top Series last year, that's why he carries the number one on the car deemed to be the series winner at the end of the 2017 season. He is up into third place and now already starting to put daylight between himself and Colin Simpson, who of course was leading in the early stages to Peugeot, but the Shilton Garage Peugeot now down into third, uh, sorry, down into fourth position. Fifth place is still the Proton Persona, car number 179 in the hands of Richard Field, who had his 31st birthday yesterday. And then in sixth place, that's worth watching sixth place at the moment because Tom Griffiths, the orange Honda, uh, car number 777, has got not that far behind him, the William Lynch uh, car. So it's worth keeping an eye towards that number 69 machine of William Lynch because he is closing in and potentially going to get himself inside the top six over the course of perhaps the next lap or so. Race leader is now onto lap number seven. He's um, just about to reappear back into sight down through the exit of Brundle and Nelson. Still the Vauxhall Corsa leads by the slenderest of margins from Russell Hurd. The pit window is going to open in around about 15 seconds time as well. So they won't be able to pit this lap, but they might be able to pit next lap through. But the Hardy still under pressure from the Honda who closes within half a car length really at the apex of Murray's Corner. We've also got a great fight going on. Uh, have we? Uh, for further downfield? No, it's not. No, that was just uh, Colin Simpson working his way through traffic. So the leaders over the start finish line. Billy Hardy still continuing to lead. The gap comes down again by another tenth of a second between himself and Russell Hurd as they turn their way through the right hander at Ritchie's. That's now seven laps completed for the race leader. By the point three of a second at the end of the lap prior. And Billy Hardy is just stretching his legs down. The Bentley straight one for the pit window is open. And I think the first of those to the pit, I think, is Manjo Patel, who has come into the pit lane. Car number 112 qualified eighth quickest in Manjo at the wheel of his Honda Civic Type R. Solo driver, so it's just a case of 
once the car has come to a halt, turning off the engine, undoing the seatbelt, he's getting out of the car, he's got to close the door, he's got to get back in. Seatbelt's on, engine goes, and Manjo will be rejoining the race. And of course this is a process that every single car in the field will have to go through at some point. And the race team is now, or well and truly amongst the traffic they put a lap on Johnny Kent at the wheel of this Mini Cooper Mark 1. The optician from Rye, 51 year old. So I'm sure we're going to see a lot of in historic racing, that's why he's out there really today. Not going to trouble the more modern cars, but Johnny going beautifully well. Despite his relative lack of experience, another secret on his license there will mean that he may well be able to have the European Masters rounds over the course of the next few months or so. Into the pit lane has come Russell Heard, so Russell Heard from second position into the pit lane very early on. Let's not forget he qualified fourth quickest and also into the pit lane you've got Colin Simpson Matt yeah that'll be our first driver change of the race as well so Colin's going to jump out and that means that uh, Steve Simpson's going to jump aboard